All right, hey guys, so here we have a little change of scenery. This is a Hunter Art Nouveau, 1896, medalist, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've always kind of wanted one of these, but never really went on my way to get one. They usually showed up pretty, for, you know, quite a bit. Um, and I always told myself if one showed up cheap, I'd go for it. And this one showed up for cheap and locally, so kind of jumped right on it. Uh, this fan is in really good shape. I think there's a little bit of paint splatter on top of the other side of the blades, but I like this side better anyways, so I'm not really too worried about that right now. Um, I've just always thought these were really nice antique replica, even though there's not really an antique that I can think of that looks like this. Um, I just think everything kind of goes together and all of its stupid ornateness. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a really nice fan. Um, it's got the stupid, what is it, like, designer's choice, uh, mounting system, so it's, you know, kind of a pain to install, but, you know, I lived. Um, what else? So this has, um, actually solid, or not solid, it's got a wood, real wood veneer, um, blades on it, which I wasn't expecting. It's got a walnut and oak you know, it seems to have a little bit steeper pitch than like a standard hunter so maybe 12 degrees somewhere around there some of them are warped so they might have a little bit extra um but yeah enough rambling now let's take a look at the fan yeah so these are oak with some uh looks like dark sugary kind of stain I don't know what just happened there. That was really weird. Oh, it still even has the little uh, protective film up there. That's kind of fun. Okay. So, let's test out the fan itself. Oh, that's what happened. We lost a light bulb. Okay, then. So, oh, we want to go to low. That's interesting. I don't know what happened there. Good medium. Seems to be quite, I can't really tell. Yeah, that's pretty quiet. Point four five.
Yeah, I'm really glad I kind of got this. I kind of want to start working a little bit more in my uh, Hunter collection. But nothing real interesting shows up around me. Mm. When it does, it's usually not cheap. I mean, I think four or five of these have shown up in the last year, but they're usually well over like 80 bucks, 100 bucks. Okay, let's start with the decade capacitor. Not that one. There's one, two, and two. Three. Let's start with decade two, see what it does. Kind of looks like it'll keep going. I think it just needs to be a little oil. Point three. Or three, I should say, point one eight. Nice aesthetic low. Four. Point two two, so we're almost at factory medium or factory low, I should say. My bad. Five point two seven. Yeah, just a hair above. Six. basically our uh, factory medium. 15, but you don't want to get any range of, range of speeds. 16, 17. You can go up to 17, and after that goes over. Let's see how she does herself. I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be fuzzy. Like your spinner motors in general are usually kind of fuzzy. So far, I don't hear anything, but this light down here is a little bit fuzzy, so I'll be drumming it out. Yeah, I hear a little bit of buzz. All right. So I guess that's pretty much everything. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.